Hi everyone, today we're talking about one of the most remarkable achievements in India's defense and aviation history Adahal Tejas, a homegrown fighter jet that truly symbolizes India's journey towards self-reliance in military aviation. In 2025, the Tejas program is not just active but evolving rapidly representing India's push to build a world-class combat aircraft with indigenous technology. The HAL Tejas is a lightweight, multi-role fighter aircraft developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is part of India's Light Combat Aircraft, LCA, program, which started in the 1980s with the goal of replacing the aging MiG-21 fleet. While it faced delays and setbacks over the years, the final product is now something India can be truly proud of. As of 2025, several squadrons of Tejas are already operational in the Indian Air Force, and more advanced versions are in the pipeline. This aircraft is a result of years of research, engineering, testing, and dedication by Indian scientists and defense engineers. One of the biggest achievements of the Tejas project is how many of its components and systems are made in India. From its composite airframe to advanced avionics and flight control systems, Tejas showcases the growing capabilities of Indian defense manufacturing. The jet is powered by a Jeff 404 engine sourced from the US but future variants may include indigenous power plants as well. Tejas is designed to handle a wide range of roles including air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. It features a delta wing design with relaxed static stability, making it highly agile. One of its strongest features is its digital fly-by-wire flight control system which ensures precision handling even in complex combat environments. The aircraft is also equipped with modern radar, electronic warfare systems, and a glass cockpit that meets global standards. In terms of weaponry, Tejas can carry a wide variety of armaments including air-to-air -air missiles, laser-guided bombs, precision strike weapons, and even advanced beyond visual range missiles like Astra. This makes it suitable for both defensive and offensive missions. It can also be used for close air support and strike missions deep inside enemy territory. Its versatility is one of the reasons it has been chosen as the frontline jet for replacing the MiG-21S. 2025 marks a significant moment for the Tejas program with the introduction of the Tejas MK-1A variant. This upgraded version brings major improvements in radar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, ease of maintenance, and flight performance. It is lighter, faster, and more capable than the original MK-1. The Indian Air Force has already placed orders for 83 units of the MK-1A, which are now being delivered in phases. These jets are more battle-ready and are also easier for pilots to train on. Another exciting development is the Tejas Trainer and Tejas Navy variants. The Trainer version is a twin-seat aircraft used to prepare new pilots, while the Navy version has been developed to operate from aircraft carriers. The Tejas Navy has successfully completed tests for carrier-based operations, making it one of the few indigenous jets in the world with this capability. India is also working on a more advanced version called the Tejas Mk2, a medium-weight fighter that will bridge the gap between light and heavy fighter aircraft. This version is expected to include a more powerful engine, enhanced payload capacity, and stealth features. The Mk2 will play a key role in the Indian Air Force in the coming decades. What makes the Tejas program even more impressive is that it isn't just about building a jet it's about creating an ecosystem. HAL and DRDO have collaborated with hundreds of Indian companies, universities, and research centers to bring this aircraft to life. This has created jobs, boosted innovation, and made India more independent in its defense sector. Globally, the Tejas is also making headlines. Several countries have shown interest in purchasing the aircraft, thanks to its cost-effectiveness, reliability, and modern capabilities. With export possibilities on the horizon, the Tejas is not just a national pride but a potential global competitor in the lightweight fighter segment. In short, the HAL Tejas represents more than just a combat aircraft. It's a statement. A statement that India is capable of designing, building, and fielding sophisticated military technology. As the Tejas program continues to evolve in 2025 and beyond, 
it lays the foundation for even more advanced platforms like the upcoming Amco A India's fifth generation stealth fighter currently under development. This journey has been long and challenging, but it's paying off. The Tejas today is not just flying or it's soaring, and it carries with it the hopes, dreams, and hard work of thousands of Indian minds who believe in a stronger, self-reliant future. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to see more updates on India's defense and fighter jets, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.